those of you wondering what HTC has been up to since the recent Google developments, the answer is a lot. Meet the HTC U12 Plus. What the company is calling its way to live on the edge, though this isn't necessarily a call out to the design philosophy. Reporting from New York City, I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's go hands on to learn why. To place all speculation behind, there is no standard HTC U12 that we know of, at least not yet. The HTC U12 Plus follows on the same liquid design that began with the HTC U Ultra, with curved Gorilla Glass in the front and the back. There are three color options to choose from, ceramic black, flame red, and translucent blue. With the latter being the coolest one as it follows on its name of giving you a sneak peek on the internals. And speaking of those, we have the latest flagship specification, starting with a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, 6GB of RAM, options for 64 or 128 gigs of expandable storage. It supports a 3500 mAh battery, though no wireless charging in tow, IP68 water and dust resistance, and this phone will actually bring a single SKU that's even compatible with Verizon. The design has a few new tricks, like the buttons being fully digital. You will feel the phone vibrate every time you press them, and this actually means that if the phone fully discharges, you'll have to wait about 5 minutes of charging in order for them to work. There's also Edge Sense 2, now with the double press for one-handed usability, though you can fully map this to do something else, and also its sensitivity. Yes, the one squeeze for one action and the squeeze and hold for another are still here, and this phone actually knows how you're holding it, meaning it won't flip the screen if you don't want to. Boom sound speakers have been enhanced to also be 30% louder than the U11, with extra tuning on the tweeter and woofer. And apparently there will be U-Sonic earbuds in the box to help with active noise cancellation as before. This is the Galaxy S9, what Samsung calls as the camera reimagined. We have a brand new 6-inch Super LCD 6 at Quad HD Plus resolution and 18 by 9 aspect ratio on this display, all supporting the P3 color gamut. Yes, there are less bezels than before, but definitely not following the current trends that have proven to be more popular. Powering the show is HTC Sense on top of Android 8.0, sadly not 8.1, and notice there is no number after Sense, though the company confirms that they're continuing to work on not interfering with stock Android as much as they can. Features like Blink Feed are still here, in addition to the iconography and widgets that we've praised in the past. And yes, there is also support for Alexa as your digital assistant, but then that's the only way to differentiate this phone from others in software, and I actually find that to be great. Now, the most interesting thing to note about this phone is there are four cameras. Yes, four. On the back, we have a 12 Ultra Pixel 4 camera, which means f1.7 aperture and 1.4 microns. The other is of 16 megapixels at f2.6 with telephoto capabilities. Both cameras bring OIS, there's ultra speed autofocus, and HDR Boost 2 with improvements even in strong lit scenarios. And yes, there is a bokeh mode which allows you to edit the blur and the focus after the photo is taken. Video wise, the phone is capable of 240 frames per second at full HD, 4K at 60 frames per second. It brings four microphones for audio and sonic zoom which focuses audio wherever you're zooming into. As for the two other cameras, they are both of 8 megapixels at f2 aperture and 1.12 microns. The whole idea here is to support bokeh effects as well. So yes, this is the HTC U12 Plus. I'd call it an interesting evolution to what we've seen before, but obviously our full review will shed some light on our final thoughts. Let us know what you think about it in the comments down below, and while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.